Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm doing the weekly oracle card guidance and I wanted to focus on love uh, on this week because it's been quite a while since I've done a weekly oracle guidance that focused on love. Um, so before I go on, well, a happy Easter to all of those of you who observe this holiday. And I'm using Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel cards uh, right here. And we have three options. We have this stone here. We have this rose quartz here and we have this. So please go ahead, make your selection and I'm going to go ahead and begin with the option number one. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking, what is it that you need to know as the week goes ahead? What do you need to know right now in terms of love as the week goes on? Okay, so the card that's come out is titled Codependency. And I'm going to go ahead and read this um, upright. So it says addictions are affecting your romantic life here. And I think that what we need to know about this card is that we need to actually observe our thinking about certain situations. So there are certain ideas that you have about your love life or about love in general or about your relationship to love or about what love ought to be and this is influencing how you relate to the idea of love as well as how you relate to love itself so how it relates if you have a partner or potential partner how it relates to them also how you feel about yourself in reg with regard to love so what am i talking about here well there could be a situation where there is an idea of what the truth is or what the situation really is, but you can't really see that because you have invested in believing about the situation in a particular way. It feels like you're attached to the situation and you can't really bring yourself outside of that attachment. So the advice here is to actually step outside for a moment or step a step outside of love uh, situations or actually remove yourself from it for a moment. This is not to say that you need to break up with anyone or anything like this, but or that you need to stop thinking about your loved one, but rather to just take a step back because what you're going to realize when you take a step back is you're going to be able to observe yourself. So look at it from a bird's eye perspective and observe how you behave with regard to your partner or to love or to the situation at hand that you're asking about in this reading. So the other thing I'm hearing here is that the way in which you see yourself or the way in which you present yourself to the person or to love or to or to the world with in relation to love, um, it, it's, it's a way that doesn't really reflect who you truly are. So it's almost like you reflect a very cold aspect of yourself. And in fact, there's a warmth that's underneath you. There's a softness that that's underneath you. There's, there's almost like this delicate vulnerability that needs to be also exposed or also be shown to the world. Now, this is not to say that you should run around wearing your heart on your sleeve and uh, simply, you know, pouring out all your emotions to everyone around you necessarily. But um, what, it, what I'm actually talking about here is that you almost alienate yourself from people at a certain point when you are are relating to them. So the, the other question or the, or the other piece of advice here is how do you alienate yourself uh, with regard to other people or with regard to love? Take a look at that and see whether it's something that relates to you. Uh, there's, is, there's another sense here that you, well, it's kind of related to the second point here, but it's the way in which you present yourself as somebody who's really independent and doesn't need anybody else and who's actually, you know, can do quite okay with the other. The, without other people but this card is telling me that that's not really true and that the way in which you relate to other people is actually um, not really honest in terms of what your needs are so take a look at that as well it asks you to actually look at what your needs are as a human being in terms of love what are your needs what are you projecting in the world on the, onto the world and how do you expect your needs to be met 
it might be here that uh, there is some kind of dependency upon somebody or a dependency upon a particular situation and and maintaining the status quo of a situation and it's asking you here to examine your life for where you may have addictions for where you may have dependencies and where these dependencies are actually impacting your life in a negative way that means it's not a healthy dependency or it's not a healthy um, way in which you relate to another person. So I feel like for some of you, this is not just in terms of love, but it could be in terms of other areas of your life as well. There is also a feeling here that what is lying ahead of you is a vacant space. So for some of you, I feel like this card really um, relates to a lot of you who are single. And um, yeah, it feels like it's a very much a single energy where somebody is just like been on their own for a while but you know ha has an attraction or they've been in a relationship but they no longer in a relationship and there's this vacant space ahead of you and it's what it's saying to me is that because of the way you behave or because of the way that you respond to the world um you are creating a vacant space ahead of you. And so you're not really allowing love to come into your life. So you might be saying, well, I am interested in a relationship or I'd like to be in a relationship. And this doesn't have to do with self-love or anything like that. So this has to do simply with you actually um, stating that you want something, but somehow your body language or the way in which you interact in the world is saying something else. So it's almost like you're creating a distance between yourself and love. And so it's asking you to examine that once again and and reevaluate your behavior. Just take a look at how you are behaving or how you're putting yourself across in the world and how this impacts you ultimately and how this is likely to impact you in the long term. There's also the sense of being forlorn or longing and having given up. So there's this feeling here that you've like somewhere deep inside of you, maybe not deep inside of you, maybe on the surface, you've actually given up on love or that you've, you have you don't believe it can be better. Or you don't believe that you can, can actually have love in your life or you don't believe that love is coming your way. And this belief system that you've ascribed to is actually dictating your life and how love rolls into your life or or does not it's actually saying here well reevaluate once again your relationship to love and what it is that you truly believe and what it is that actually uh is dictating your current life so if you are longing if you're in a state of longing but not ever having received then you are going to continuously reiterate that energy in your life you're going to constantly be longing it's going to stay in that state and it's somehow going to reinforce your beliefs that you already have. So how do you rectify this? Well, here it's to kind of give up on the forlornness or the idea of, of longing for love and actually believe for a moment that there can be love. To believe that you can actually have this love be reignited, whether you're in a relationship or be reignited in your life. If you're not in a relationship and you're hoping to be in a relationship it also says here, well, be patient. You know, it's not going to necessarily happen at this moment. And I think that the reason that um, I'm getting that message is r largely due to the, the situation that the world is in right now. So it's it's saying here, well, yeah, there, there are... Uh, there are things that can actually happen in this time, in these times, but you need to be a bit patient for, for it to come to fruition. So maybe it is possible to meet people perhaps online or in your uh, line of work or, or something like this, but there's going to be a bit of time before it actually comes to fruition. So I think that there's a lot of messages here, um, but mostly the most important message that I'm hearing is that reevaluate your attitude to love and what you believe to be true about love or not because ultimately this is going to define how you live your life or how love comes into your life or or whether it comes into your life at all so i think that was your message for those of you who've chosen the option number one here i thank you all for coming by i wish you a very safe and healthy and blessed time ahead so for those of you who've chosen this rose quartz here we asking the question, what is it that we need to know in terms of love as we go along? What is it that we need to know in terms of love as we go along in this week and beyond? Okay, I'm going to go with this one here. The card is attraction and it reads, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. 
So this is something that can be applied to anyone in any area of their life. And I think here, as far as you are concerned, that it's important to find romance in your life in little things. Little things like the way in which the light catches something in your home or the, the sounds that are made by something soft and gentle or the smells that you are exposed to. It talks so much about you actually loving yourself and enjoying yourself and creating romance in every area of your life, whether you're just simply boiling some water for a cup of tea or coffee or whether you are actually um, cl cleaning something. Whatever it is that you're doing, what, whatever thing it is that is even mundane can actually have the potential to bring romance and love into your life. And when you appreciate life in this way, when you are in love with life, when you're actually enjoying life so much, you're savoring life, then it's more likely to be able to savor love or to be able to appreciate love when it actually do, does come into your life. So it, it talks here about savoring life in order to be able to attract more of more love into your life. But then it also talks that if you are in a relationship, that you actually should savor the softer moments, savor the moments that are gentler or that get swept underneath the carpet, you know, the little things in the relationship. Acknowledge things that you don't always see in the relationship or that you haven't really seen or that you've just taken for granted until now. So it also talks about being able to put yourself out there in order to be able to do this. And the way in which you actually can put yourself out there is to be able to release another um, sphere of, of, of being. So what I mean by that is that they show me this image of somebody who's clutched on to frustration, to um, difficulty, to uh, lack of harmony. And they are clutching on to the stress or this difficulty and they're unable to let go of it. They're unable to actually let go of it for fear of God knows what. And it's it's consumed their lives. And what they're saying here is gently let go of that and allow the softness and the beauty to enter your life again. Allow little beautiful things to charm you as you go along and find that beauty in, in mundane things, whether it's um, I keep hearing the sound like of, of water boiling and, and the bubbles that are formed when you when you boil water or whether you are whatever it is, you know, a slicing an avocado open and seeing the, the ripe, beautiful avocado um, flesh in there. Just little things that can actually bring you joy. And it might be that you've been ignoring these things or just, you know, you, you've been thinking about something else in, at that moment when you do that. And this card is saying, well, enjoy this moment fully. It's basically saying, just savor every little experience and find and inject love into every little thing. Inject that beauty into every little thing. And there's very much here a feeling of, of aligning love with beauty. It's like a very Venetian kind of feeling where you align all beauty and all of romance and all charm with everything that you do in order to understand love or understand your experience of life in a way that is full of love. There's this feeling here that it's important for you to take a moment out to be able to savor this. And they are saying that now is the best time to be able to do this. Now is the best time to be able to step away from the world, to be able to step away from media influences and from frenzies, whether it be at work, or whether it be in the media or whether it be in the outside world and step into yourself for a moment and wonder, you know, just be able to step into that sense of wonder and and enjoy everything that life presents to you and, and seek that wonder in every experience that you have. So I'm also hearing here that this is not really related. Um, it's not really related to love. Uh, but what I'm hearing here is that there's this kind of potential to to create abundance in your life right now. So this is huge potential to be able to create uh, other kind of forms of income or to be able to make a uh, 
a lot of money doing something, whatever it is that you're doing. And so they want you to meditate or to take a moment to reflect upon that because you're going to find those people who've chosen this option, you have an opportunity to be able to make a lot of money in some kind of way. This is not by exploiting others or by hurting anyone. But it's by actually bringing more joy and more love into the world in a way that uh, you're exuding this experience, you're exuding this love. And by doing that, or by actually um, um, finding a way to to bring forth yourself into the world, you're going to find that you're able to make some money doing this. And um, it can be a very good time for you to look into some kind of business in which you are exploring um, a certain art form that you are accustomed to and, and selling this work online or perhaps um, offering your services of enchantment and beauty into the world. So look into how that could actually work for you. For each of you, it will work in a very different way. But there is really a sense of being able to to bring this into the world and to be able to enjoy the fruits of it as well. Now, in terms of love here, they aren't showing me a relationship that's beyond yourself. So this is not to say that there isn't a relationship between yourself. And it's not to say that there isn't going to be love or there isn't going to be some beautiful experience of love. But what they're saying right now is that this experience of love is very much inside of you. It's very much your own experience of love in relation to yourself, in relation to the world. But it's within you that you're experiencing this right now. And then what, you know, your relationships to, to others well, that perhaps is a focus at a later point. So right now, savor your own uh, relationship to love or your own perception of love as it is in this moment. And um, I'm just going to pick up this card to feel if there's anything else I need to mention here. Yeah, this goes without saying, but I think that the experience is a very sensual experience. It's a very, it's a very feminine experience. So it just feels like a, a very um, open experience, like it's open and welcoming and allowing to allowing yourself to receive. So also what they're showing me here, what they're saying rather, they're reminding me of this. They're saying, well, you know, when you actually are open to receiving that goodness, if you when you let go of that stress or that that other kind of energy that has got a frenzied feel to it and you allow yourself to surrender to the love that's around you, to the beauty that's around you, then what you're doing is you're receiving. You're saying that I'm open to receiving this love and that is where when you are open to receiving this love, it doesn't only, you're not just receiving in terms of love, you're also receiving in other areas of your life. So, and it's it's good things, you know, it's this abundance, it's this fertility, it's this feeling of being able to expand and grow and doing so in a very fruitful manner. So it it's a it's a very beautiful message here in which I see only well being and abundance for you as you as you go ahead. And but of course they are saying that the way in which to go about attracting that or being able to experience that is by savoring the little moments. It's by maintaining um, beauty in the mundane. It's about finding love in the little things that you've taken for granted along the way. So how do you go about doing that? How is it that you can actually bring this more into your life? All right, so that is your message for this week. And I hope that really resonates with you and that it helps you as you go along. And I hope that it, you know, the love that you're able to bring into your life is actually the, the love that fulfills you and brings you a great amount of joy. I wish you a happy and safe and, and healthy time ahead. Be blessed. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking what is it that we can expect in love or what is it that we need to know about love in the, t in the period ahead of us? So whether that be a week or longer, what is it that we need to know about love as we go ahead? And we have a card here saying, getting to know each other. As you relieve, I'm sorry, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so this is a card where I feel that um, it just keeps ringing. Like I keep seeing um, internet um, 
communication or virtual communication is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so I keep seeing virtual communication and patience and taking time, taking time to actually understand and uh, and get to know each other. So that is actually what the card is saying. It's saying, well, take time to get to know each other because one of the things that you're going to see, if you just take it slow, right, and you allow the thing to unravel slowly, you're going to be able to monitor yourself in your relationship. So for some of you who've actually recently met somebody or for those of you who will meet somebody in the near future, what they're saying is that watch yourself as you um, communicate with this person virtually or at a distance and see how you behave because what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to have time to reflect upon your actions or how you feel in between relating to this person. And that is actually going to be your blessing at this time. It's saying to you, well, this gives you an opportunity to be able to evaluate yourself or, or, or watch yourself in this time, observe yourself so that you can actually understand how you behave in terms of relationships. I, this message is very much for those of you who are have just entered a relationship or, or sometimes uh, are going to be some sometime in the future in a relationship. So what they're saying here, right, is that you sometimes get into a relationship and you fall head over heels and then you don't notice certain things about yourself or about the person. And then you kind of find yourself at a certain point in the relationship. And then you wonder to yourself, like, how did you get there? Especially if the relationship ends at a certain point, then you wonder, well, how did that happen? Or why did that happen? And then you, it's like you've already spent a lot of energy at that point. So what they're saying right now, as you go ahead, is that and, and this also applies to those of you who are already in relationships right now. It says, observe yourself and how you're behaving. So even if you are not at a distance to each other, even if you are in contact with this person every day, they live with you and, you know, you are their partner. They're saying, well, just simply observe how you're behaving with this person and understand what makes them tick. Understand what actually, what actually that you do that riles, up, what riles them up in a particular way. Or that makes them uh, respond in a particular way. What actually the, do you do that actually charms them or makes them uh, behave in a certain way? They're asking you also to take a look at, at what it is that you do that can actually upset them. Uh, or what it is that you do without realizing it that can upset them. So they're saying here, this is a very good time to uh, observe how you go about your, uh, in love relationships or how you relate to a particular person. And it, it feels very much like a particular person, but if you don't have a particular person in life, then I think this message is very similar to the first message where it says, you know, observe yourself and watch how you actually uh, interact in love situation. I feel here yeah, that there are more messages though. It's not just like the number, it's not like the first, it's not only the first message that was um, in this reading. I, I'm just going to hold this card to feel what, what else there is here. Okay, so there's also the sense that, you know, there, there are divine blessings that are guiding the situation. There are divine bless blessings that are around you and, and helping you to actually move in a particular direction. And these divine blessings are no accident. It's not something that's actually come out of nowhere. This is something that is you are supported by. And it's something that you have actually put out there to support you by. In any given situation, right, you may not realize this, but there are some kind of divine um, support systems that you have in place already. And it's pushing you in a particular direction or it's supporting you in a particular direction. So you can actually choose where you want to go to with this or how you want it to unravel. And, but, but maintain hope or maintain a positive attitude with regard to this because you don't actually know what's working behind the scenes here. So have hope and have trust and, and allow yourself to give them the benefit of the doubt um, with regard to this because there is something here that you don't actually know about. And it's something that's not bad. It's a good thing. It's something that, it's not like a warning, oh, you need to be careful here or or like you need to, you know, um, just watch what you're doing with this person. This is like saying, well, allow yourself to fall in love. Allow yourself to go with this. Allow yourself to get to know this person better because there are some things here that you don't actually know about that is prompting you or propelling you in a particular direction and trust that and go with that. Okay, so that was also a very um, 
specific um, message. There's another message here that says that, you know, if you find yourself in a situation where there's more than one person in a relationship and you are seeking a monogamous relationship with this person, then ask simply, pray and ask that you and this person be with each other without anyone else in that relationship and that the other person be removed from the relationship. And what they're saying is that there's going to be um, a result or a consequence from, from this, which you will be pleased with. So it's it's something like, you know, I think that just go ahead and ask for what you want ultimately, and you will be provided with this. If you feel that there's somebody that you're interested in, and there's somebody else that's also interested in this person, be it a friend, or be it somebody that you know very well, you don't need to give up in this situation is what they're saying. They're saying just ask for for the best situation to re reveal itself or for uh, you to be considered in the running for this person. So that's a bit of a strange message. But it says, uh, basically, allow yourself to be considered by this person. And, and then, you know, trust that it will work out in your favor. And um, the other message I'm hearing here is that as you get to know each other, a lot will be stripped away. A lot will be actually um, uh, cleared so that you can see more clearly what it is that you need to see with regard to this person. So there is a chance that you can actually um, get to know this person better or or uh, get closer to this person. So Yes, this message now feels like it's very much for somebody who wants to get close to somebody else who they're not really in a relationship with. I want to just ask if there's something here for those of you who are already in relationships. Okay, the other thing I'm hearing here is that you are in a situation where you can actually allow yourself to show more of yourself to the other person it's a lot you can allow yourself to show who you are to this person and whether you're in a relationship with somebody for a long long time or whether you've just met this person you can actually trust yourself here to be able to show who you really are to this person and know that it's okay to do that like you don't have to keep this part of you hidden you can actually show yourself to um, this person so I hope that message helps you it felt like a little bit all over the place sometimes I do um, a reading and I feel like the message is not very uh, a concise message it feels like it's pulling me in different directions and this was one of those uh, those mess messages here today um, I just want to say that there's one more message in here for you I think that um, trusting in the divine as you define it is actually going to help you here because this card talks very much about having hope and and removing doubt removing fear removing shyness being able to actually ask for what you wish for and being able to trust that you can have what it is that you desire so whether this means that you are in a relationship with somebody or that you're hoping to be in a relationship with somebody it's saying here you know go ahead and ask for that to, to happen and if it shows you that it can't happen then accept that and move on but if it shows you if you get the inclination or if you get some kind of sign that it's okay to pursue this then definitely put yourself behind it and trust in it okay so I hope that has been helpful I hope it resonates with you and I hope that as you go along that you will find what you're looking for in terms of this love I wish you a very uh good time ahead in terms of love and I hope that your your wishes will come true in this regard I also wish you a very blessed time here uh, as you go ahead and as we all are facing this um, pandemic may you stay healthy and safe and may you be blessed blessings abound from Kismet Rising <laughs>